So my first video with webs.com was creating a gallery and a slideshow and this video is going to be uh, naming my pages what I'd like them you know actually to be named not just these were when I set up the account it I'm not sure that I could actually name them it suggested some pages and it said you could add or delete them at any time so I'd like to actually create my pages name my pages I'm gonna see if I can actually get my text put into at least some of the text for each page put into um, each page on the site. I'm going to try to do that in under 10 minutes. So we're going to see what happens here. The um, the site that I'm working with is yogareikiaz.com and I am just going to take a home page, contact page. Um, I do want her sidebar and then I will have, let me see, home page, contact page, her bio, and probably her kids' sessions, and sessions and treatments. It's one, two, three, just, just the actual page that goes with this. So like that right here. So it's just some really simple stuff. One, two, three, four, and five and then the sidebar which she has on every single page so we're gonna to try to do all of that um, now all I really want to do right now is just see if I can name the pages and get this basic text in and then I'll see um, how much more I can modify from there so I'm going to take um, this website and move it to a different window just so we're not bouncing back and forth and I am going to start with home is already here and then we have the kids sessions and classes so I'm going to go to this news page and see if I can rename it now I started this at about the two minute mark so oh and news turns out as a blog oh yes and that is one more thing we definitely want to have in the site so um, news is blog let's see if I can um, rename the page I can so we'll call this blog just to be straightforward about it and so we have two pages named right now and information okay so this one we are going to rename and we will call this, so I guess we're going to do six pages, but uh, if we include the blog, kids, uh, sessions, uh, and we'll just call it that. <clears throat> and then she's got this one called more. So I'm going to click on, oh, more is an actual drop down. So we have this discussion forum. I don't want it. And um, let's see, we have pages. Can I, can I get rid of discussion forum? I can. And then I have photos and, and I have Harbor Gallery. And it's confirming if I want to delete a page. And it's telling me drag page handles up and down to reorder and left to right to create sub pages. So we're going to go with photos and try making that. Oh, look, that's very simple. And then I'm going to add a new page. And, um, you know, I like the right sidebar. And, you know, what? I renamed that one Kid Session. I wonder, I may have to change that layout. I don't know if I can do that. So. We're going to call this, uh, we're going to have this banner right sidebar, and we're going to call this um, Sessions and Treatment. And we definitely want the banner. And uh, double click to add an image. Not yet. And um, pages. So. We're going to put that up with kids sessions and then we want a bio page. Oops, we right sidebar. And where are these showing up by the way? 
So that's interesting. Click to edit your website header. Okay. <laughs> Where are all my pages going? Um, how do I edit this? This is fun. Toggle grid, sure. No. Content. Add text, add image, tagline, title, and I have no idea. Okay, so this is one. Click an element to show edit options. I am. Um, use this toolbar for more editing options. I would love to hide from navbar, change page layout, rename page. Hmm. I really don't know how to do that. Oh, hey, there's preview site. I was looking for that in the last video. All right, cool. So I fell on, on that one, but I'm going to exit out of that for right now and just get my pages created. And then we'll see about this nav bar thing. Okay, so um, pages. And so we've got home, blog, which I would really like to move blog to in between photos and harbor. And that was nice and easy. Kids sessions. Sessions and Treatment, Bio, I would like to be there, and um, last, I would like to have a contact page. So, um, I think I want that, but hold on a minute. Blog, Photo Gallery, Calendar, choose an app page to add to your site. Apparently it's not one of those, I just wanted to double check. So we're going to call this contact and create that page. Okay, so <laughs> with all of that being said, I've got all the pages created and I'm not entirely sure I would like to work on um, the nav bar page settings, rename page. I've already been here, but I sure you want to remove this page from the nav bar. No, I don't. So what I'd really like to know is how do I add items to this nav bar? I mean, maybe it only lets you have um, a certain number of of pages actually in the main nav bar. Click to edit your website header. Yes, more. So I'm clicking, I'm dragging. I'm not seeing where to edit the navigation bar. Edit, let's see, how about navigation bar? Let's see. How do I create a sub-menu, sub-page, or drop-down menu? Click Pages um, to view the My Pages list. Use the handles that appear in the top left side. Changes will automatically save, and you will see how the changes appear in your published navigation menu. Pages can only be nested within a sub-menu for two additional levels. The more link is automatically generated when the number of pages added exceed what fit in the menu bar. Haha, -ha, there we go. The theme for the theme you've chosen. Any additional pages will be located under the more link as a submenu. To remove the more link and create your own submenus, you can use the method above. Okay. So there it is. I didn't notice that. More bio, blog, photos, contact. So yeah, I would like to change some things around here. I've got home. And um, instead, it looks like I can have one, two, three. Um, nav items with this one. I don't think we're going to make it to text today, folks, but this is good setting up pages and um, getting the nav bar going. So since we have kids sessions and sessions and treatment, I think what I'm going to do is make sessions and treatment the main one and then kids sessions the next. And I really want these things. I don't want someone to have to go to more so I, I wouldn't mind that with photos and harbor gallery, but I'm going to go ahead and put home for the, well, put home, or sorry, put this bio, come on, there we go, and blog, and contact. 
So we have that and that under there. So we have one, two, three, and then this will be under more. Okay, so let's see what happens. My pages. Get me out of here. There's no save button, so we're going to go up here and it's fun when you get lost. Look, it's fascinating. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on Kids Session and see if that gets me out of this little pop-up menu. And it did. Okay, so under Home I have Bio and Blog, Sessions I have Sessions and Treatment, Kids Sessions, Contact and Photos and Harbor Gallery. Okay, so um, I want to check the layout of each of these, so I'm going to go to Home and I have the title of the page. It looks like I can actually put my logo up here. Um, drag and drop modules and it looks like this is supposed to be a sidebar. So for sessions and treatment I am so I see that, that I get a header image plus that. So I'm going to go to pages and just whoops probably not that. Oh crap. Here we go again with that. So I don't like this because I'm not sure how to exit out. If I click on these things, it's not making it go away and I can't drag. Oh wait, wait, here's a minus button. Whew, there it goes. Okay, so my question though for this particular page is once you choose a layout, like maybe I realize like I do right now, okay, my header it can probably go up here and we're at 12 minutes. So I'm going to see if I can figure out how to modify this guy where you know if I don't want what I've got how do I change it or do I just have to what happens with builder yep there's builder um, folks layout right here yeah okay so let's see two columns three columns. Oh, do I have to drag this on here? Click here to, oh, that's dividing up the page. Okay. Gotcha. Three con general. <laughs> We're not getting what I want because now I've realized how this thing works. Table, social, other. Yeah, what I'd really like to do would be, now that I understand how things are working, I would sure like to change this out. See, I, drag, I, I, um, I dragged in a two column thing, and that's really cool. I have to give you that, Webs. But where I'm a bit confused at this point is I guess I need to just go ahead and recreate these because this layout is, I would like the same layout from page to page. So I think that's what I'm going to do is, because I don't see page settings. Well, there's page layout. Okay, so why can't I, I'm going to go to bio. There we go. And this is, um, da -da -da -da, change page layout right on. Okay, so we're going to do the right sidebar, save layout. So I didn't see that thing. I was looking for that thing. It wasn't there. And blog. I'm not sure if I get to choose a layout for a blog or not. If I can keep the same layout, that would be swell. It doesn't look like I get to change that. So we're going to go to Sessions and Treatment and change page layout and right sidebar and just like everything once you know where everything is it's a lot easier
and I'm going to do one more change and then we're going to finish this up but I didn't get my content in and I don't have my sidebar set up but my main thing was to try to get that content in but oh well um, I'm going to go to pages and change out something here I'm going to have kids session because I don't want people to think that she only offers kids sessions so we're going to do that and now I know how to minimize this so now we should have if I click on something it should refresh the view there we go. Home, bio, blog, sessions and treatment, kid sessions, more, contact and photos. And I really, I think it has to do with the width of this. So, because I want contact to be part of that main menu. I don't want that to be something someone has to work for. So, I am going to... <laughs> not get what I thought I was going to get. This is fun. All right, we're going to try this again. Go over here to our utilities here. No, edit, can I rename page? Yes. So we're just going to call this kids. And we're going to call this, well, if I can get away with sessions and treatment, I'm going to stay with that. Okay. So I'm going to minimize and refresh. My goal is to have contact showing up there. No, and it didn't keep that either. Hey guys, how do we lock this in? Kids. Oh, look at that. There's a little check mark, and I totally didn't notice it. All right, so that, is that gonna get us contact? No. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with sessions. makes it sound like she might be a musician but whatever just trying to get there and of course this is limited by the template that I'm choosing you know so home bio blog sessions kids contact photos very good that's all I need okay so um, I started really building the pages two minutes into this video so it has taken me oh about 15 and a half minutes to get my pages set up and in the previous video, um, it was about five minutes to figure out how to get a slideshow happening, a slideshow completely not related to her topic, but um, I didn't want to get in trouble with any copyrights with photos. So right now we're at a half an hour. I already have a slideshow. I already have a photo gallery. Um, I figured out how to modify the menu. I have figured out how to modify the layout so I have a consistent layout from page to page and so far you know considering I am doing this totally on the fly recording it as I go trying not to use help because I'm trying to see how intuitive it is um, and I'm doing it as fast as I can to keep the video time down I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it so far